The History of Middle Earth is a 12-volume series of books published between 1983 and 1996 that collect and analyze material relating to the fiction of J. R. R. Tolkien, compiled and edited by his son, Christopher Tolkien. The series shows the development over time of Tolkien's conception of Middle Earth as a fictional place with its own peoples, languages, and history, from his earliest notions of a mythology for England through to the development of the stories that make up the Silmarillion and the Lord of the Rings. It is not a history of Middle Earth in the sense of being a chronicle of events in Middle-earth written from an in-universe perspective, it is instead an out-of-universe history of Tolkien's creative process. In 2001, the twelve volumes were republished in three limited edition omnibus volumes. Non-deluxe editions of the three volumes were published in 2002. Topic Contents Some of the content consists of earlier versions of already published works, while other portions are new material. These books are extremely detailed, often analyzing a scrap of paper to provide the full evolution of two or even three different versions of a passage that were rewritten over each other. Despite the great amount of material in the twelve volumes, numerous unpublished texts are still known to exist in the Bidleian and Marquette University libraries, and in other papers held by individuals or organizations, such as the Elvish Linguistic Fellowship. The first five books track the early history of the Silmarillion and related texts. Books 6 to 9 discuss the development of the Lord of the Rings. Book 9 also discusses the Numenor story in the form of the Notion Club papers. Books 10 and 11 focus on material from the Silmarillion that Tolkien worked on after the Lord of the Rings was published, including the Annals of Beleriand and the Annals of Amon. Book 12 discusses the development of the appendices to the Lord of the Rings and examines assorted writings from the last years of Tolkien's life. Christopher Tolkien made the decision not to include any material related to The Hobbit in the history of Middle-earth because it was not originally intended to form part of the mythology, but was a children's story and originally not set in Middle-earth, but was revised during the writing of The Lord of the Rings. The History of the Hobbit was published separately, in two volumes, in 2007 and was edited by John D. Ratliff. Topic Volumes. The Book of Lost Tales, Part One, 1983. The Book of Lost Tales, Part Two, 1984. The Lays of Beleriand, 1985. The Shaping of Middle Earth, 1986. The Lost Road and Other Writings, 1987. The Return of the Shadow: The History of the Lord of the Rings, Volume One, 1988. The Treason of Isengard: The History of the Lord of the Rings, Volume Two, 1989. The War of the Ring: The History of the Lord of the Rings, Volume Three, 1990. Sauron Defeated includes the history of the Lord of the Rings Vol. 4 1992. Morgoth's Ring, the later Silmarillion Vol. 1 1993. The War of the Jewels the later Silmarillion Vol. 2 1994. The Peoples of Middle-earth A combined index was published six years after the series was completed as the History of Middle-earth, Index 2002
a shorter version of Volume 9, omitting material not related to The Lord of the Rings, was published as The End of the Third Age. This is usually sold as a boxed set along with Volumes 6, 7, and 8 as The History of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> 